How you doing? This is George Sander, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, one of the great mysteries of the 20th century may be about to be solved, or maybe not. Uh, the family of the three inmates, Franklin Morris, Clarice Anglin, and John Anglin, say they have proof that the men that the movie Escape from Alcatraz was based on left Alcatraz successfully. Clarice Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris were never seen again after sailing a makeshift raft from San Francisco's world-famous escape prison on June 11, 1962. It's widely believed they died in the jailbreak, but their families say they survived their ordeal and went into hiding. If that were true, John and Clarice Anglin will be 84 and 83, and Morris will be 88. This evidence was provided by the Anglin's nephew, David, 48, and Ken Widner, 54, in a History Channel documentary, Alcatraz, A Search for the Truth. Well, I watched a Mythbusters episode where they built a raft of their own, and they got all the way to the other side of the bay and, could have, and proved that they could successfully have withstood the cold, the water, paddling, and everything else by building exactly what the convicts built. Now, scientists say that they've done computer models that say that um, these guys could have made it to Angel Island, but they lost them and pushed out to sea or pushed toward the uh, inlet of the Sacramento River. The family says they received signed Christmas cards sent to the brother's mother in a photograph which they claimed was evidence that these prisoners were alive in the 1970s. An investigator named Art Roderick, a retired U.S. Marshal who worked on the case for 20 years as work with the family. He told the New York Post, this is actually, actually the best actionable lead we've, we've had. When you work these times of cases, there's a feeling you get when stuff starts to fall into place. I'm getting this now. They, enter, they entered the water of the San Francisco Bay and improvised rafts they had built made from coats sometime between 8 and 2 in the morning. They built their own paddles out of, out of uh, wood they salvaged. And according to a study last year, there's a slim chance of surviving the cold. The odds were stacked against them, but I always believed they got away. So these guys could still be alive somewhere. And I wish if they are alive, they'd come forward because I doubt the government would put these guys in jail after all these years. But you never know with Obama. All right, that's the latest mystery out there. Are these guys still alive or not? And I'm sure you'll be watching that History Channel show and uh, to see if they are. All right, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great evening. I'll be back with another video. Bye-bye.